Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 38th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell programming. Now in the last tutorial we checked out the case statement and uh, to be honest I wasn't satisfied with my own performance of explaining the statement to you. So what I'm going to do is in this tutorial I'm going to take up another application of case and I'm going to try to do a better job of explaining the statement to you. So I bring up my text editor here and I've already saved this file in my home folder given it the name word and the extension sh and what this script is going to do is it's going to ask the user to enter a word and then using read we will store that input in a variable that's um, that we're going to call word in the script and then we will check whether the word begins with a lowercase or an uppercase vowel that's going to be our first case the second case is going to be to check if the word begins with a digit and the third case is going to be to check if the word ends uh, with, a, with a digit and the fourth case is going to be to check if the word is a three letter word or not and the last case is going to be the default case which will get executed if all these cases fail and that's going to just display a stupid message right so the script is going to be pretty simple and I've chosen this example because uh, it's going to introduce a couple of meta characters to you and uh, you know it's also going to deal with case in a better way so let's get started on the first uh, line I'll type in echo to display a message enter a word and this is because the user should know what is expected of him and the next line we'll use read to store the input in uh, the variable word that's word and then we have to begin our case and um, I'll type in the keyword CASC -E, and then the control variable which in this case is going to be word so dollar word since we are interested in the value and then the keyword in and then we are going to type in our case conditions and the first case as I mentioned is going to be for lowercase and uppercase vowels so a e i o and u this is the range for lowercase vowels and uh, since we we are going to check whether the word begins with a vowel or not it's just the first character that has to be in this range for this case to get executed right so for all the other characters since we don't really care I'm just going to put an asterisk right so if the first letter lies in this range pretty good we don't really care about the rest of the characters that's why there's an asterisk here but I'm not going to make a separate case for uppercase uh, vowels instead I'm going to use the pipe symbol here and what the pipe symbol is going to do is it's going to ask the shell wait a second let me type in uh, the uppercase vowels here a e i o and u and of course the asterisk symbol yeah so what the pipe symbol is going to do is it's going to instruct the shell to check if the first alphabet in word lies in this range and if it doesn't lie in this range then it will uh, ask the shell to not skip the case but to check whether the letter lies in this range right so both uh, ranges will be covered in a single case and that's why we've used the pipe symbol in between and uh, then again uh, the syntax says that we have to put a closing parent here so that's what I'm going to do and it's there now and on the next statement I'm going to on the next line sorry I'm going to use echo to display a message like uh, the word begins with a vowel right and to terminate the case I'm going to put two semicolons right and now the next case is gonna check if uh, the word begins with a digit or not and uh, I'm, a, I'm gonna use the square brackets meta characters again and the range of digits is of course from 0 to 9 so I'm gonna type in 0 and then a hyphen and then the digit 9 and the closing parents oh sorry we have to again put an asterisk here because again we are testing to see if the word begins with a digit or not right so the first uh, character in the in the input will be matched with the digits between 0 and 9 and uh, if uh, a match is found then this case will be executed so on the next line I'm gonna use echo to display a message the word begins with a digit right and of course the two semicolons to end the case and 
on uh, the next line we're gonna write the test condition for the third case and that's gonna be to check if the word ends with the digit or not so instead of typing in the range first and then the asterisk symbol what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna type the asterisk symbol first and then I'm gonna type in the range which is gonna be 0 to 9 so what will happen is uh, the shell will see that okay there's an asterisk in the test condition so you know maybe I just have to ignore a few characters and as it reaches the square bracket here it will see that okay you know maybe I have to just match the last character and uh, how do I have to match it and with what do I have to match it I have to match it with the range that's represented by 0 hyphen 9 right so if you put an asterisk in uh, uh, before the range then the first characters are ignored and just the last character is matched and if you put the asterisk symbol after the range then the first character is matched and the last characters or the characters that follow are ignored right so i'm gonna put the closing parent to get inside the case and then i'll use echo to display a message like uh, the word ends with a digit so to terminate this case I'm gonna use uh, two semicolons and uh, on the next line I'm gonna type in the condition for my fourth case and that's gonna be to check if the word is a three letter word or not and three letter words can be thought of as uh, you know combinations of three characters and one character as I mentioned in the previous tutorial can be uh, represented by a question mark so for a three letter word we can use three question marks and that's gonna be our test condition right so three question marks and the closing parent and uh, on the next line I'll use echo to display a message you entered a three letter word that's great and of course I'll have to terminate this case by typing in my two semicolons and uh, lastly I'm gonna type in the asterisk symbol and the closing parent and this is going to represent the default case and this case will get executed only if the above four cases uh, fail stupid statement something like uh, I don't know what you have entered so the two semicolons uh, indicate the uh, termination of this case and uh, now since all our cases have been uh, written and the code for all, all the cases uh, has been written as well what we have to do is we have to terminate the entire case block and the way we do that is by typing in the keyword case but this time in the reverse way so it's going to be ESAC right and I'll save this file uh, okay everything seems to be correct so I'll bring up my terminal now and I'll execute the script sh space word dot sh that's the program so it asks me for a word so if I type in uh, something like uh, apple right apple begins with the uh, a and uh, uppercase a that is in this case and uh, a is a vowel so it should display the, a message like uh, you entered a vowel the word begins with a vowel yeah so that's uh, displaying correct output now if I type in uh, something like uh, ball then it tells me that I don't know what you've entered because there is uh, no case in our script that is uh, prepared to match with uh, such an input but if I type in a word that begins with a digit like uh, 5 uh, hardy and if I press the enter key then it tells me that the word begins with a digit type in Fahrenheit 451 then it tells me that the word ends with a digit but this is this case in this case it's not really a word it's um it's a string but even if you would type in a word that ends with a digit it will display the same message to you and if i type in a three letter word sorry something like um uh cat then it tells me that it's a three letter word and uh you can check it once again for dog again it tells me that it's a three letter word so uh again i'll walk you guys through the script once more we have uh, our case statement on the third line and the control variable is uh, dollar word and this is the input that we've received from the user uh, in the script and once we get inside the case block 
we have uh, five cases. The last one is the default case, which just displays a message, I don't know what you've entered, and it will get executed only if the four cases that appear before it fail to uh, execute. And why would that happen? It would happen only if the first letter in the uh, input is neither a lowercase vowel or an uppercase vowel, or if the first letter is uh, not a digit, and also if the last letter of the word is not a digit, and also if the word is not a three letter word. So I hope you've got uh, the essence of case in this tutorial, in case you missed it in the previous tutorial. And if you think that I still haven't uh, made it clear for you, then please stick with me in this uh, tutorial. I'm sure we will encounter case multiple times, uh, sorry, in this course. And uh, maybe in future, I'll clarify things for you in uh, a better way. So thank you so much for watching this one. And um, I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel.